All right, so with uh, the new patch coming today, we got two new things, you know, the Operation Scrap Super, which is a new activity that you have a lot of stamina to do, um, and the Lucky Bag. So the Lucky Bag I already recorded like a few days ago, so I'm gonna include that at the end of the video, like how the Lucky Bag works, if you're interested in that. Uh, but mostly about this Scrap Sweeper, because you do, man, you need a lot of points for this. You need... A million points if you want to get it to the end, which I haven't even done JP because I, I just don't like this event. Um, you got a costume for Delger, which is a, I think she, this is the only costume to ever release for Delger after launch, um, after her own launch, of, of course. Uh, but this is worth it. Like even though I, I personally think this activity takes too long, it's only worth doing it because the rewards every day are pretty decent. Like every day, you're gonna be getting three of each upgrade material, right? Uh, and some raid mats as well. Like, it is very much worth doing this activity every day. Uh, just for the daily rewards. And then, along the way, you're gonna be getting the, uh... You're gonna fill, in, fill up this right here. Um, it's pretty simple. You know, it works like Candy Crush. I'm gonna do, like, a run where it's more, like, explanatory. Um... I mean, there's, like, a tutorial as well. I'm assuming. I've already played on JP. So I know how to play. You want to connect the little fruits, and you can connect them like that, right? You can connect them in any direction that you want. Um, and making like large combos, for what I can tell, drops or has a higher chance of dropping power-ups. So like, you know, if I got like a... Like a, let's say... I don't know, like a, like a, a 20 combo or something. Or like a 17 combo, like one of these would drop, and you need to make sure to always pay attention to these drops because if you don't, what? Okay, this is okay. This is something I'm. I was gonna, I was gonna mention later, in more of a negative thing, but on the mouse, this feels terrible. Like, look at that. You know, it, it didn't connect. On the mouse, it feels very awkward to play this. I think on the phone, it's not that bad. But you know, I don't. I, I play on a computer. On a mouse, I'm telling you, this is very awkward to play. Because again, like I said, like like if if you like do that, right, and you click anywhere on the screen, like like you just saw, it cancels it for whatever reason. Like, like bro, like you saw that, like it, that should have been connecting. So they definitely have some um, work to do if they want to bring this event back. Uh, I hope not. I don't quite like this event, only because there's too much stamina. But, yeah, that's essentially how you get higher points. Uh, I was barely paying attention. That, that's essentially how you get higher points. Uh, I got, like, in the 40,000s. I've seen a screenshot, I think, on, on Twitter of someone getting, like, 60,000, 70,000. But, I mean, no one's really flexing their scores on this. So, I don't know, like, what a high run would be because there's no leaderboards um if anyone gets like a really high number like a hundred thousand i'd like to know but um like my, my, my forty thousands, i got like three times that fever thing which the fever buff or effect essentially gives you like all the points like see that like that bro it, it, it is really awkward. I'm thinking it might be a mouse thing over uh, the actual game mode. Because I have not played on my phone, because I... Um, for my phone, okay, I, I, could have done, I could have done that much better. I could have done that way better. I completely messed that up. But it's like, yeah, I have a timer, so like... I can't just stop what I'm doing to reset... And like think, oh, what is the best path for this? Because you have like one, is it a minute and a half? Uh, is it 90 seconds or is it 60 seconds? I actually, I actually have not. Of all the runs I've done on this, I have not paid attention to how much time you have legitimately. But you have, well, one stamina every hour. So you basically... <laughs> You have so many runs to do it. It takes so long. Like, th this is this is taking so long. Like, if it wasn't... Like, again, I could have done that much better, but... If it wasn't such a... Uh, 
repetitive and just not fun activity. See, I try to do this, right? I try to like make a different path, but it unconnected because of the way that the thing works on the mouse. Um, so yeah. Is it every 40 minutes or every hour? I think it's every hour. You get the uh, the stamina to play it and... I think if the timer, like 80 seconds, the timer wasn't, if the timer, I could have done that, bad, that better, but I don't really, I don't think. And that's the end of the sentence, I just don't think. You can always do it, like, okay, I could have, I could have done that. You, if you, if you're just playing like me, like right now, I'm, I'm just, I'm laying down on my chair and I'm just kind of playing, right? You're going to end up missing a lot of like combos that you could have done. But, you know, I, I I don't know if I can bring myself to take this very seriously. Because if you just do all your runs every day, it doesn't matter that much how many points you're getting. And if you don't do the power-ups, uh, like, I've had, like, if you have a run where you get, like, no fevers, like the one that i just been getting, uh, which happens. There are a lot of runs you get that you just don't get any fevers. Uh, you're cocked. Like you're gonna get like ten thousand points. Like it's it's really bad. Um, so there is an element of RNG there as well. Uh, what the? But you can see like I mean eh, I don't know, it, bro. That should not have unconnected. I don't know if uh, this is an already really already like existing game. It probably is. It definitely is. But you know the the whole mechanic is not terrible. If it wasn't so long, like 80 seconds, and you have like so many times you have to do, because just to do the, the daily uh, missions, you gotta do this a bunch of times, bro. You gotta do this a bunch of times, right? It's not like uh, you just do it like five times a day and you're done, because it depends on your luck as well, because if you don't get the correct fruit, you don't get like, like here, right? This fruit, I've only got so much, so I haven't even got progress on it. Like, the ones that matter for me, which are the caution of materials I already got, so I don't care, but... Yeah, that's essentially this activity. Um, not the best, really. It is something, though. And again, if you just do this every day, like, you know, 76k... I got right here. If you do, like, 100k every day, in 10 days you're gonna get a million. You have two weeks. So it's not... It's not like you... It's not like it takes you that much time, but yeah. So this is the the new hawk scrap sweeper activity. It's okay if they want to bring this back, like in a few months. I wouldn't be outraged by it, but I don't know the little inconsistencies on like the connections on the mouse. I would like to, for that to be fixed, but I'm not very hopeful. So. To the lucky bag. And that's it. Alright, so quick video. I wanted to open these lucky bags. Um, if you're interested, I think a lot of people might be interested in seeing if they want to buy it because they're cheap. Uh, it, it you, you can buy three of them. You get three for free, which are the ones I have. You get three for free uh, by doing just random events. And you can buy three, uh, each one costing $5. I think you, you get also five gems and actually go to the store. Let me go here, you can go down, yeah, it costs 500 yen, which is approximately 3.8 uh, euros or $5. You get one of these and, and five gems. Um, I don't know if I'd recommend buying these. <laughs> I know they're cheap, but like, these are the rates, right? You have a 5% chance of getting 25 gems, which is the best thing you can get. You have a 15% chance of getting all of these, which is actually pretty good. 20% chance of getting some raid mats and uh, 30 different materials, which is decent. And then 20% chance of getting garbage. This is probably what you're gonna get. Like, okay, 50 skip tickets is not the worst, but still not great. And then 20% chance of getting 30 hammers and 30 of uh, these, which is pretty good. I'm gonna open my free ones and see what I get. Depending on what I get, I'll buy the other ones. What did I say? No, 
What did I say? Okay, okay, now, now I want to know. Okay, so it's... It's six possible items. Do you get one of each? Do you get one of each? Okay. We're gonna be we're gonna be going over this and seeing if we get a repeated one. Do you get one of each? Got the 25 gems. So these are my free ones. With the free ones, I got the 30 hammers. One. I got the worst one, and I got the 30 gem, the 25 gems. So this was pretty good. I'm gonna go on my phone because I can't buy on the PC port, and buy the three other ones and see if we get a repeated one. Okay, I got my three other ones. Um, there might be something in the patch notes that said that you can't get repeated, uh, but it was in Japanese, so <laughs> I didn't know. Oh, um, I'm assuming in the global patch notes, we'll see. But you know, if I get a repeated, now we know. So I've got the 25 gems. I think if, if you can't get a repeated, if you get the 25 gems on your free ones, just don't bother buying the other ones, I think. Um, unless, you, unless you do want to have everything, because again, by the price, it's not bad. Um, for 15-ish dollars, getting all the rewards is pretty good. But, let's see. If we get a repeated, we know. Uh, yeah, I, I guess you can't get repeated. Okay, good. Uh, good to know that on my free ones, I got the worst and the best one. <laughs> the best one, I think, being the the 25 gems. Yeah, after you, if you buy everything, you get an extra 10 gems. Um... Do the lucky bags. I think. Uh, if you get if you get the the good stuff, just don't bother buying the rest. That's it. <laughs>